Hi, my name is Brian and uh, I own a small computer shop in South Florida and uh, today we are going to be replacing a power supply in an Acer Aspire uh, I don't really know what this thing is, it's kind of one of those mini tower things um, they have a special hard, uh, special power supply in them that uh, is, is probably not going to be located in a uh, big box store. So when you go to replace this, uh, this is an Aspire X1200, X1200. Uh, <clears throat> what I do, and a lot of people have asked me this, where do you find your parts? Especially for stuff like this, uh, I go to Amazon, eBay. eBay is usually a really good bet. Um, and then uh, and then they say, well, how do you know what part to get? Well, we'll, we'll show you that in a second. Uh, all right, so I've got the uh, the device here on its side. There are uh, only one tool that you're going to need, and it's a, a Phillips head screwdriver. This should probably take you about uh, 20 minutes to half hour. So um, go ahead and pull the screws out of the back. There's two black screws back here, one in the top here and one in the side bottom. And don't miss that top screw because it won't come off without it. Uh, pull and back, and this whole cover comes right straight off. Uh, we've got some dust on the fan, so we'll probably clean that off too. Uh, this is the power supply right down here. And right on the very top, it's hard to see, but on this sticker, it says model number colon PS5221-06. That's the number you pump into eBay uh, to find the part that you're looking for. Uh, and then it'll come back with all kinds of results. Uh, all right, the next step is we're going to have to take the front cover off of this because we actually have to pull the CD-ROM out to get this out. So we're just going to lift these two tabs, gently pull off. That whole thing snaps right off. Very easy. And we are going to uh, move this lever down and push in and down, and that releases the CD-ROM so you can back that out. And then just pull the SATA cable off of the motherboard so you don't yank on that. And then also pull the power out of that so you can mo move that forward. And this whole thing slides right out. And this is the CD-ROM and the uh, hard disk. And we're just going to set that aside. We're going to unplug all the power unit be, uh, power cables because we're going to ultimately remove this and replace it with our new new device. Uh, next step is going to be pull the CPU power, which is this little four-prong uh, guy right here. This is uh, dedicated power for the CPU. And then the motherboard uh, power uh, plug, and that's the big one. There's a little tab on there. You push, you squeeze it, and then you pull up, and that comes off. So now we're fully disconnected. Now we're going to take the three screws out of the back of the power supply off back those out one by one and I'm not using my little specialty bin if you've watched some of my other videos I use a little bin but we're really only dealing with about six screws here so we don't really and it doesn't really matter um, so this pulls right straight out uh, and this one is garbage so we're gonna go ahead and set that down on the bottom there and we've got a replacement I got this off of uh, eBay and we're gonna throw that down in there and it fits right back up and go ahead and put the screws back in that holds it in place yeah a lot of people uh, don't know where to get parts but if you just google sometimes let's say you can't find it on eBay or Amazon if you just google the part number uh, you might be able to find another vendor that has it um, okay, so now we're going to re put put these uh, all these power cables back in, and for some reason the CPU cable was tied in a knot, probably for space saving purposes. But we need all of it, so we're gonna go ahead and seat those. Now, if you've never done this before, those power cables—they're just like any other connector. They just you just push straight down, and then they seat right in there. Um, you get a better view of it right here when I do do it with this one. So turn this completely around, line it up, and push straight down till you hear it click. 
boom, it's in there, no big deal. Easy cheesy. All right, and we're gonna keep these on the side because we're gonna need those in a minute. And then we are going to put our assembly, our CD, ROM, and our hard disk assembly back in. And this can be a little daunting here because you gotta line all this stuff up. kind of fish it down in there however you can. Just be um, aware that you've got all these other cables and things and you kind of want to work around those. You don't want to be... Well, maybe I should push this around so that we're up on the top. With these tight little cases like this, you just really never know where things are going to end up. And this can go like this, like that. And you just don't want to pinch any wires or anything. Move this one out of the way. And you seat it right straight down. Just make sure everything looks good and it's not pinched. You know, that's the thing. You don't want anything pinched. And that looks okay, although this would be much easier to plug in our our power cords and stuff for our for our hard drive when it's up here rather than try to mess with it while it's out completely out or completely back in. So this one goes here and like that. Okay, we can leave the CD-ROM. Let's reroute these cables a little bit. Okay. And we're going to do that, go through that exact same process. Seat it down in there. Make sure the wires are not pinched. Rest it down. That looks good. And then um, this is the power cord for the CD ROM. SATA power cord, so it's got that funny little L shape to it. You kind of have to manhandle it back in there. Sometimes getting it back together is tougher than getting it apart. Slide that all back together and so on and so forth. Alright, and this goes down into the motherboard. Clip that in and just double checking everything. Looks like all that stuff looks okay. And then this little guy. One of the screws you, looks like it might be missing, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that. There's a, a mounting screw here. That holds this whole scenario down. Okay, that looks good. And while we're in here, we can see that the, that the CPU is, is quite dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the screws on that, and we're going to clean this fan and this heat sink. Um, while you've got the computer open, you might as well just go ahead and do it, because uh, this is going to prolong the life of the machine. And 
yes, the client hired me just to replace the the um, the cooling fan or the uh, power supply. But if I were to leave all that dust in there, that's just not that isn't good. So we'll grab our vacuum and we'll we'll suck all that stuff. Out. I keep a, uh, a little uh, vacuum in my shop just for this purpose. So we'll. Uh, So now we've got our, our fan all cleaned up and our cooling system cleaned. And we're going to go ahead and just put our screws back on that. It's not a real extensive cleaning, and we didn't replace the thermal paste or anything, but. Uh, it's it's worth doing if you really want to get into it you can pull that whole cooling system off and replace the thermal paste uh, we're not going to do that today and then the last step that we're going to take is blow that off with a can of duster here and just the final spritz clean out some of the big stuff. And uh, that looks like that should be that should be adequate. Uh, Alright, so why don't we go over and uh, plug this thing in and we'll see how it works. Okay, so notice we, uh, we didn't uh, put the cover back on. That's because we want to check to make sure that the power supply is good and that we've got everything hooked up correctly. Um, so we've got it all plugged in. We're just going to fire it up using the little power button here. And looks like we've uh, we've got power. That's perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. So uh, everything looks like it looks like it's running right. And uh, we'll box it back up and give it back to the client. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.